Hello guys and welcome to another MK Mobile video guys. On today guys, let's review. I'm gonna analyze the trailer of the Combat Cup Gas Cage. It's gonna be coming tomorrow, I believe in 12th of November. And we I believe she's gonna be a paid pack, then a soul pack. There's already data mine files that she's gonna be a pack with 750 souls. Yes, we have 10% chance to get her on a pack with 70. 150 souls. We have 40% chance to get Combat Cup Sanya Blade, 40% chance to get Combat Cup Chan Cage, 10% of Combat Cup Caps Cage, and 5% chance to get a random spec of Diamond, and 5% chance to get a random Diamond. Yes, guys, this is too bad to see. I hope they add her on the tower rewards like Classic Nubi Cybot and Classic Jade because. You can get those guys on some matches that give golds, like bosses matches that guarantee gold random as drops rewards, okay? So, I'm gonna show you the entire trailer, okay? Then I'm gonna come back on the video and give my opinion about her. So, let's watch first of the trailer. Good afternoon, football fans. My name is Tyler Lansdowne, coming to you live from NetherRealm Stadium. And I'm Mick Pack. It's a delight and honor to be back here at the Deadly Confines, Tyler. It sure is, Mick. Folks, if you haven't been paying attention, now's the time. Our very own Combat Cup FC has been on a winning streak during preseason. And with the addition of breakout sensation Combat Cup Cassie Cage, we're poised to take that energy throughout the entire league, lining up victories, and emerging as one of the strongest gold teams we've seen yet. And there's no doubt she's a crowd pleaser and loves the attention. Let's take a look at some highlights from Cassie in the preseason. Striker Johnny Cage started this match, but Cassie subbed in right away to activate her passive. On tag in, Cassie temporarily branded her opponent Tanya as an outsider, setting the stage for a great win in the pit. All attacks against Tanya had a 50% chance of being unblockable, which allowed Cassie to deal more damage out on the field, delivering the Combat Cup squad an early lead. When the outsider Tanya tagged out, Cassie's soccer ball drone assisted by dealing 30% damage to Tanya's current health from the sidelines. Just incredible, Tyler. Such impressive confidence and tactics coming from Cassie this early on. It can't be understated how much she's aiding Johnny and Sonya's ability to control the flow of a match. Okay, let's roll the next highlight. Here, Cassie proved herself to be a central support during the preseason match against Skynet FC, where Terminator's ability to cripple was shut down by her team synergy with Combat Cup teammates. Thanks, Mick. It's nice to see the Combat Cup step it up with cripple immunity. Let's move to the next clip. It was a free kick for Cassie at the Lin Kuei Temple, and the fans were eager to see if she could pull it off. She took her shot against Aaron Black and nailed it, and the crowd went wild. Couldn't agree more, Tyler. Moving on to our next highlight, Cassie ramped it up in Jinsei against Shinnok with a brilliant play in footsie's range. As you see here, she dropped into a lowered stance, fired three gunshots, then called her football drone into the mix, launching straight into Shinnok with a powerful shadow kick. Another very skillful move from Cassie. What a tremendous effort from Cassie. On to the X-ray attack. Who can forget Cassie's power draining tactic? She fearlessly faced her opponents all with two bars of power, then unleashed her testy kill X-ray. It was a crushing day for Kano to say the least. Cassie may have gotten a red card for this one, but she drained the entire opposing team's power even knocked out Kana. Okay, we have one more highlight before we return you to NRS1's live competition, Cooking with Scorpion. This was by far one of my favorite matches of the preseason. Just a dominating performance in the Deadwoods as Cassie unleashed her throwing tactic against Triborg. The Combat Cup FC won yet another match. It's clear the new synergy with Cassie on their team will be a triple threat in the coming season, and I cannot wait to view it with my own eyes. A triple threat indeed, Mick. Thank you all for tuning in to the Combat Cup team preseason highlights. Okay, so I have showed the full trailer. Let's check it out. All of her. First, let's analyze her passive. Is the name is the captain. She tags in and apply and transform your opponent into a outsider. So while you outsider, you have 50% chance to unblock all attacks like specials and basic attacks. This is great for 20 seconds. But the problem is 20 seconds. Uh, example, if you want to use another character to use this, you need to wait 80 seconds to tag out from Cassie to another character, so in 20 seconds you're gonna lose 80 seconds, so you can only use 12 seconds left to another character to have unblocked basic attacks and special of course. It's not too bad, but let's continue. 
branded her opponent Tanya as an outsider, setting the stage for a great win in the pit. Her combos are from MK11 and one is from the Silver Cassie, no problem. This is from the Silver Cassie, this combo, and this one is from the MK11 game. And now the, when the outsider tries to tag out, you're gonna lose 30% of the health. The bad part of this is not to work against bosses, so it's not to work against the bosses. Second problem is she don't have anything on her special one, like any buff or debuff, and the special two, the same thing. Any buff or debuff, just damage. But let's continue. Okay, show it in block ball attacks because of the passive captain. Okay. I believe you can use this for only for Cass. Yes, thanks to Cassie, all the combat cup characters are cripple immune. So this can be great, maybe against Class Liu Kang because they're gonna be stun immune and cripple immune because of Sonya and Cassie. Uh, Terminator special two of Guardian Terminator, special two of Classic Jax, special two of Secret of Shadow Jax have cripple and special one of Black Dragon Iron Black and the gear, the Soul River King Cobra Belt because that gear when you apply combo and the specials on the reader, you have chance to get cripple. So it is gonna be great to the Sorcery Tower, maybe come back soon, I believe. Okay, let's continue, of course. Cripple immune, no problem. It's her passive for our combat cup teammates. Yes, glow kick, same from the others. Cassie, gold like Covert Ops, the Undercover, and the Silver Cassie. Yes, this special 2 is from MK11 game. This, I don't know why they have put mixed specials like special 1 MKX game, special 2 MK11 game, and the X-Ray from the MKX game. And the Cassie is. Her face model is from MK11 game. They have some mix, I don't know why. Yes, this is her X-ray, same as the other Cassie MKX game. And apply Power Drain, same from the Covert Ops Cassie case. Oh yeah, what's my opinion about her? I don't think she's much good. This outside is great, but you only have 12 seconds to unblock ball. I believe it's better for her because you can have unblock ball specials and the basic attacks. Example, if you want to use another character, you're gonna wait 80 seconds to tag into another character. So you're gonna lose 80 seconds from the 12 seconds, the 20 seconds from the passive. And Cassie is not a great character for survive because you don't have anything on her special one in the special two. So you're gonna be a problem with this if you have her example of Fusion Zero. She not she's gonna get KO'd before you can use her passive. But example, or the thing is she's great maybe for faction wise and for the towers, except for bosses matches. Example, if you use Cassie passive and force out with Sonya Blade, the character you're gonna be together is gonna be lost. 30% of the health, and she has synergy with the characters like you have fear on specials like Cyclops of Shadow Kitana, Black Dragon Tremor have, Combat Cup Sonya also have the fear, so those characters have synergy because you can apply the, the outsider on your opponent and force them out to force them to lose health because the drone is gonna remove the health. So this is a great strategy. I believe Johnny will not be great with her because his passive don't allow the opponents tag out. So if you don't let the opponents tag out, you're gonna be not work the drone because you're gonna you're gonna not tag out because you're gonna play stun. So she don't have much, let's say, synergy with Johnny with this. Maybe only the bad, the great thing is the creep immune. So gonna be great for some for some some reasons, some matches, example, if you face a uh, class Liu Kang boss, it's gonna be great because it's gonna be cripple immune. In my opinion, she's not better than Covert Up Cascade. Why? I'm gonna explain why. First, Covert Up Cascade is cheap. You can buy her on the store with 250 souls. You can get her from the tower, so there's a lot of ways to max her out. Always cheap. And 
Her special is amazing, have a cripple and she have faster basic attack so it's almost impossible your opponent counter attack her because she's fat. She can solo bosses, example I have Zadia here on the Danian tower to destroy Fire God Liu Kang. She is more fast than him. And another thing is guys, she gives him block basic attack chance and special 25 for entire mat. It's not like the, convert up cascade, the combat cup cascade is for 20% in 20 seconds, I believe not great. So even at fusion zero, convert up cascade can be better useful than this because I believe when convert up dies, the unblockable still continues, her passive continue to work. So in my opinion, she's not great much. I believe they need to make some rework her, but in my opinion, I don't think this this cast is not too great for combat cup team. I believe convert up cascade is better. In my opinion, big example how you cannot max it out because you can only build 10 packs with souls. So, if you have a problem just to get more copy, you're gonna be a quite a challenge. This is the challenge for us drop a character with 10% chance with uh, 750 souls on a pack and you can only build 10 packs. So, guys, this is ridiculous. So, guys, in my opinion. Convert up cascade is still the best cascade in the game and it's the best teammate for combat cup team in my opinion. Okay guys, I hope you found this video useful. This is just a video to talk about the combat cup cascade. Okay, again, I'm gonna just give my opinion. If you have any opinion about her in talks, give it the comments. Do you think her is better than convert up? What do you think about her? Give your opinion on the comments. Thank you so much for my video. See you in the next video. Goodbye. And just like a soldier, I keep on moving forward, always getting closer.